tactics. They do it on the left, they do it on the right. They gaslight you, they manipulate you, they, they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Man, everybody talking about this. Just what they do. That's politics. They do it on the left, they do it on the right. They gaslight you, they manipulate you, they, they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas. But he's, um, he's much more reasonable and intelligent. I mean, the guy was an environmental attorney and cleaned up the East River. I mean, he's, he's a legitimate guy. You know, before anybody started calling him an anti-vaxxer, which I thought he was, too. I thought he was this nut. This like conspiracy theorist nut until I read his book. I read the real Anthony Fauci and I'm like, what is it? <sighs> how much of this is real? Because if it's all real, this is f and we live in a world where we're being manipulated by these health organizations that are being paid by the pharmaceutical drug interests. And these pharmaceutical drug companies are pumping mm -hmm. these products out into the population mm -hmm. and telling us that we need them and then making insane amounts of money. And then also the government is in on it. And also they share a patent with Moderna. And also they, they share profits. And there's $700 million, 700, I mean, however, however much money was made, whatever the, the number is that these guys made off of these products. Like this is all of it is f there's the revolving door between the CDC and the FDA and then these pharmaceutical drug companies. So the people that make the regulations then go on to have these cushy jobs with the pharmaceutical drug corporations. Like, oh, nothing to see here. <laughs> it's like it's open. It's right out in the open. Right. And when he talks about all that stuff in his book, you're just like, what the man? If this wasn't true, he would be sued. Yeah. But it so is. it seems to be true. Yeah. It's and a it's a scary thing because people don't want to talk about it because they don't want to be attacked. You know, they don't want to be called an anti-vaxxer. That's a big one. Right. You know. So this is the clip that prompted Donald Trump to write on his ex account. We'll pop the the verbiage up here. This is pretty much what Donald Trump uh, wrote on X as a response to what Joe Rogan just said, the, the video we just watched. He said, it would be interesting to see how loudly Joe Rogan gets booed the next time he enters the UFC ring. Oh, back oh, in 2024. Oh, now, oh, oh, here's my opinions on that real quick. I think Donald Trump, Trump, Trump should sit this out. I honestly think that Donald Trump should not comment anything negative about Joe Rogan. I thought that... I personally think Donald Trump shouldn't... It's my opinion. He shouldn't comment anything negative about Rogan or anything negative about, oh, about, yeah. about CAC. No. Of course not RFK. He, didn't, he wasn't coming to RFK, but I'm saying him... Rogan or Kamala, because he needs to be able to do it to where he makes it look like it's only about the policies and stuff like that and ain't about the people. But I know that's not Trump's natural demeanor. That's not how he was built. But I know that if you attack the people, they keep using that against you on the left side. I, that Joe Rogan could have had the. Say what? I, what? I um. Did I mess up you that? took it back. Turn it. Right there. Oh, okay. But I feel like. I feel the same way. I think he's much better than what he used to be when mm -hmm. it came to straight ripping people. You know, I think he's kind of chilled out with it, but he hasn't stopped it all the way. And that's that's what I would like. I would like to see him really focus on the policy, especially when this debate with Kamala. I would really like for him to stay focused on what she hasn't done and what she was supposed to do compared to what he's done and what he's going to do versus all of the tomfoolery that we're not really interested in. Yeah. But this situation with Joe Rogan, yeah, I mean, he's entitled to his, his opinion and belief. I mean, you got Elon. <laughs> you got Elon backing you. To me, that's still way, 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 you know, bigger than Joe Rogan. Yeah. So, But it's the simple good. fact of who, who Rogan is. And I know. And he's UFC, and the UFC is a, is a major. UFC loves loves Trump. Um, it almost could be look like, like a slap in the face. Like, yeah. you would think that Rogan would go ahead and. Say, you know, forget this wacky left side. Let me go ahead and go for Trump. Okay, like, you think he yeah. was going to endorse him. I'm sure it was a great disappointment. Yeah. I think Donald Trump could have said something that was more jokingly, like laughing, like, ha, that's funny. RFK has no chance of winning. 
or something of that nature instead of saying, watch how much you get booed next time you go to his job, his profession where he's excellent at. I just I just didn't think that was – I don't, I don't think that stuff is a good move. Donald Trump, in my opinion, will win handedly if he's above the fray. Yeah. That means that let influencers and surrogates and people – argue back and forward about these points. Donald Trump is above the fray. He don't have to e- even talk right. about this stuff. Right, true. All he should be doing is talking about policy. Only, that's what policy, I just said. Then what I... you're going to do as the president, that's yeah. it. having a unifying message. I agree, completely. Don't get into the rigmarole in, yep. in, in, in the weeds with these people. Yeah, let it let it be. Because a lot of people like Joe Rogan. Yeah. And people are going to have to make a decision. Yeah. Oh, I don't like Trump no more. Or you know, it, it's it's unnecessary. Yeah. He should have just retweeted and laughed and said, "Ha ha, Joe Rogan," or even put a laughy emoji or something in this post to make it seem like, "Yeah, I'm cool with this guy. I'm just joking." I, I don't know who's advising Donald Trump. I don't know if anybody can advise Donald Trump. I don't know what the scenario is. And I love Donald Trump, and I want him to win. He got my vote. He signed my hat. I appreciate okay. Donald Trump, man, but. Like, somebody needs to say, Trump, you are going to win everybody that loved you before, just yeah, about. correct. And new people. There's a group of people that are on the fence. And there's a group of people that are losing hope in both sides. Mm-hmm. So Kamala has to be controversial. She has to be far left. She's going to have to take some radical, crazy stances. She backed herself in a corner. Yeah. She has nowhere else to go but radical. Yeah. And she picked a VP that's radical. Radical earth. Donald, all Donald Trump has to do is sit back and say, I'm the adult in the room. Mm-hmm. When he was at that event with them, them ignorant black women, all he had to do is play the game like Barack Obama did, like these other people do. A black woman say, you criticize Kamala Harris on the color of her skin. What he could say is, you know what? I have a lot of respect for black women. I think black women are the salt of the earth. A lot of successful, great black women. He could talk about the women that he's helped. He could talk about him being on. And then that just show. completely deflect all just that other stuff. Lambast about yeah. how wonderful black women are. Yeah. However, Kamala Harris doesn't represent those women. Mm-hmm. Kamala Harris ain't like them. Right. They not like us. I'm surprised that y'all not saying that. <laughs> because y'all... Kamala Harris didn't even claim her heritage of being black until more recently. Yes, she went to HBCU. Yes, she she plays as an AKA. You don't have to be black to go to HBCU. True. And you don't have to be black to play as AKA. No, True. that's correct. You don't. I used to think you did until I went to University of Arizona. It has a Mexican AKAs. I said, I, how is that possible? I thought it was a black <laughs> sorority. But regardless Stop of it. that, yeah. <clears throat> what, what are we saying? Play the game. Yeah. So therefore, when they sound bite you, they got a sound bite you saying that black women are the salt of the earth. You don't have to really believe it. I, I don't know. It's a game. You, pl- you got to play politics. What are we even saying here? And so I think that Donald Trump can win on, on, on acting and behaving like that during the home stretch. Don't argue with Cardi B them. Don't argue with Megan Thee Stallion. Don't right. argue on, on yes. Exactly. Yes. frivolous you know, people. Types. No. Yes. You stay frivolous above the people. You stay unifying. You stay talking about policies. That's the only thing anybody need to hear from Donald Trump is policy, 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 That's policy. It. This None is what I'm going to do when I become president. None Here's all the things that stuff. I have done. Yep. Yes. Here's my track record. Exactly. Here's my proof. Right. Like, That's I, I, it. I don't, I don't get it. Um, I disagree with Joe Rogan's stance. I, I mean, I think RFK ain't. But, but yeah. me and Joe Rogan don't see eye to eye on that. RFK is no better than any of these people. He just don't have a big infra- infrastructure enough to attack people and do all that stuff. Nobody's yeah. listening to him. He can barely talk. Is he a brilliant guy? He's probably very smart. I thought that Donald Trump and him on a ticket would be a good ticket. Yeah, yeah me too. Would Joe Rogan have endorsed if Donald Trump had him on a ticket? I don't know. Good question. Um, yeah, but good if question. If you talk about gun grabbing and censoring speech, I have nothing. And you talk about Fauci, Ouchie, and you, well, he's against that, but. And you talking about the Green New Deal and all that stuff? I, I can't, I can't rock with you, Shotty. I can't rock with you. <laughs> it's, com- it's completely ridiculous to me. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, you know, a red blood Republican that love this country, and I think we should have the freedom of speech. You should be able to say whatever you want to say. If it's racist, if it's prejudice, 
If it's you can you should be able to say whatever you want to say. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna say what I want to say to you. Yeah. And if I don't like this and I don't want to talk to you and I don't want to hear what you say, I just don't listen to you. Right. Period. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Who do you think is wrong in this? I really want to hear from. I'm gonna go look at the comments. Who, who who do you think is wrong in this? Do you think both of them are wrong? Neither are wrong? Or you think Joe Rogan shouldn't have said what he said? Do you think Trump shouldn't have, shouldn't have you know, gave him <laughs> uh, an opinion about this when he's so close to the election? Let me know. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. I'm going to say, hold on, let me, I'm going to go right into what I say. Um, he took it personal. No. He, he took it Joe, personal. Joe Rogan, let's be real. Joe Rogan wasn't wrong. RFK wasn't wrong. The only person that was wrong was 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 Trump on that matter because he's the one that's everything's riding on. It's not life isn't things aren't riding on Joe Rogan or RFK. So Trump just he does need to look over the minutia because Trump is a very person. If you see, he's a very personable guy. Yeah. So he's going to take things to the heart very quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think that he should kind of look up. Don't look down at at, at those situations it, because yeah. when you're in the office and running it's nothing else they have to say you're already in the office and you're doing your thing so yeah. don't look to the left don't right because you won't be here stay <laughs> <laughs> right focus tunnel vision and focus on your focus on your goals that's it yeah really i mean what do i think yeah i think it was just a waste of tweet I think it's he a didn't waste. even have to mention it who cares because I that's mean, what it, people, it's not gonna hurt him either way it's not but that will what that will just make issues when joe rogan is in the usc and just i didn't even know rfk issues. was still running i thought the man was really? out really yeah. what oh that's well so how what's he you, endorsing him in but how can you run if you the you're not the, no is man. he on the ticket is another um, Democrat Republican or is it independent? I mean, is he going to is he the independent? I'm curious to know. I, need to I didn't up. even know he was on the on the ballot for even consideration. The last that I have looked up or, or read about him was that they were trying to drag him based off of some past discretions, transgressions that he's committed. Yeah. Lifestyles and things that he's done. They're trying to slander and, and drag his name through the mud. Yeah. That's so that was that, that was far as I heard. I didn't know that he was. On the docket. I so this is interesting. I need no, to look that up then and find out. Is I, he in the independent? I didn't know he was still relevant to the situation. I know he was, I, you know, I thought the whole time I thought they would talk about he was going to look at supporting Trump. So or is know. he on the docket now to be another Democratic nominee to go against Kamala and Tim? Good question. Good question. All right, well, man. It's, it's wide open yeah, right now, is. great I people. Know. But I, I think he needs to, and I just know, I know at the, the bottom of my heart when it comes down to him debating Kamala on September 4th that he's going to go policy, but he's going to go attack, too. I just know that's just how he operates. Well, hopefully she's going to keep us scruples together because I, heard, I, heard I think he's not just going to jump out there. It's, it's going to be him responding to yeah. probably things that she's going to be attacking with. But the with. thing is, exactly, Trump is very personable. So if you go and he has this policy set up, you say anything that offends him, then he's going to deviate from that to roast. Well, we need to put it on his Twitter, Uncle Trump. We love you. We want you to stay focused on the policies and don't worry about the rest of the nonsense because it don't matter. We know you know your stuff. Let's focus on the policies and not on the name calling and being hypercritical of the people if it's not what they didn't do in, in office, blah, blah, blah. But personal and all that kind of stuff, let's leave that alone. People... Because that's going to, I feel like that is going to be the that's, discerning that's factor the for people who are in the middle yeah. are going to determine that, whether or not they're going to want to vote. That's going to make a race that still could have been aware of as a, a high probability to where it becomes like a neck and neck kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see neck and neck. No, it's time. All right, 2024, be more. Talk less. We'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.